coward ass boys. That's the voice of Bassa Masri, who streamed this video live at the time. Coward, straight pig out here, straight bitch. You gotta go. Aren't you trying to provoke the police there, trying to get more views, maybe? I'm just a citizen, you know. I'm I'm a citizen journalist or whatever you want to call. It. I didn't ask for none of this. All right, folks, uh, one of the great protesters at Ferguson. Joining us now, our friend Jim Hoff from the uh, uh, fo founder in chief. He's from St. Louis right now, is where he is. Uh, founder in chief, uh, blogger at the Gateway Pundit, and winner of the Reed Irvine Accuracy in Media Award. Okay, I'm told we don't have him. Uh, so, uh, all right, now we have him back. Hello, Jim. How are you, sir? Hi, Steve. Good to be with you again. Good. Thank you. Good to have you. So much going on. The governor. Uh, in the state of Missouri has just uh, declared a state of emergency, uh, putting the National Guard uh, on call uh, in anticipation of an announcement by the grand jury. Uh, what is the latest, as far as you know, as to when we might expect that announcement? Well, Steve, this is breaking news. It's just happened within the past half hour. Governor Jay Nixon, a Democrat, just declared a state of emergency across Missouri. And uh, uh, Mayor Francis Slay, the St. Louis mayor, just came out and had a press conference where he said that the National Guard would be stationed here in town, uh, but it would not be uh, in trying to instigate or trying to confront the protesters, but it, the National Guard would be stationed at shopping malls and at government buildings after uh, this announcement is made. I guess that doesn't do much for the... Um for the shop owners in the local streets. But uh, that, that aside, uh, you broke a story, uh, a great, uh, to me it was astounding, that on the day after the midterms, the day after the midterms, that, her, that, that tremendous loss by Obama and the Democrats, Barack Obama met with supporters and organizers of the protesters from Ferguson at the White House and, and told them that he was concerned that they stay on course. Once a community organizer, it appears always a community organizer. Isn't that the truth? Uh, just unbelievable, this report. The New York Times uh, actually wrote this last night, Steve, but they buried it in the, in the 21st paragraph. They said that, oh, by the way, Al Sharpton had been at the White House on November 5th. So sometime between Obama's press conference uh, on the 5th, he met with, uh, Ferguson protesters. I'm still um, trying to find out who exactly it was. I do know that there's this uh, this uh, very uh, well-known activist here in town. I actually sent a couple um, operatives to her training sessions this weekend. Her name is Lisa Fithian. I'm not sure if you've heard of her before, but she has a sordid past. She was the, one of the main organizers back when the World Trade Organization, there were riots in Seattle back in 1999. Um, she was part of the Occupy movement, trained a lot of activists then. Of course, that was a very violent, uh, murderous movement, a lot of drug addicts. Are, are you, Jim, are you, are you going to tell me she was at the White House? I'm not sure. I am not sure. I can't say that, but I can tell you that she was here in town. Someone's paying her to hold sessions. She's held numerous sessions. She said she's trained over 600 activists in the St. Louis area on her radical um, rioting techniques. It, 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 look, no, nothing, nothing, nothing would shock me anymore. No, I mean, I'm not saying she was at the White House, but if it turned out she was, nothing would shock me anymore. All right, so now we've had this video come out uh, from the St. Like Louis Dispatch.
right, folks, we're back. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulty. Hopefully Jim Hoft, uh, founder and chief blogger at Gateway Pundit, is still with us. I don't know, but okay, we're talking quickly about the, uh, the video and the audio uh, that just came out. Uh, we'll have to save that for uh, an, another time, uh, Jim. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Great. Thank you. And stay, okay, and stay safe. Sorry for the technical difficulties. All right, folks, we'll be back uh, right after this, so uh, don't go away. When I was a young doctor, we were just learning about cholesterol and how too much of it could lead to a heart attack. We learned that there were three types of cholesterol. LDL cholesterol, which was bad, HDL cholesterol, which was good, and triglycerides. Now we know that not all bad cholesterol is the same. We learned that bad LDL cholesterol is comprised of two different types. One type is called pattern A, and the other type is called pattern B. And it's very important for you to know the type that you have. Feel free to pause the video and get a pencil to make notes. Pattern A LDL cholesterol is fluffy and bounces off the wall of your coronary arteries without damaging them. Pattern B LDL cholesterol is small and pellet-like and embeds into the walls of your coronary arteries causing damage. To learn what pattern you have, you must ask your doctor for a blood test that is known as an advanced lipid screening test. Most of the time, doctors will not order it, but this is an important state-of-the-art cardiology test, and research shows that this information is key to determining who is at the highest risk for a heart attack. If it does turn out that you have the deadly pattern B type of bad cholesterol, don't despair. I found that taking 500 to 2,500 milligrams of vitamin B3 or niacin can change a harmful pattern B LDL cholesterol to a pattern A cholesterol. In this Heart Health Minute, I told you about the importance of advanced lipid screening and learning about your cholesterol risk. But there are other very important tests you need to know about as well. Since most of you are already reading my book, The Simple heart cure, I want you to go to chapter 10 and read about the other must-have tests you should ask your doctor about if you are over the age of 50. Get your copy of Dr. Crandall's best-selling book, The Simple Heart Cure, for just $4.95 with this special offer. Go to www.simpleheartbook.com to get your copy today. That's simpleheartbook.com.